All right, so let me explain this a little bit better. This is a top plate that come out of a customer's truck. We had built this transmission uh, last year around September-ish. Uh, this guy had a complete air system meltdown. Uh, this thing was full of about five gallons of water, which as you can see here, what that water does uh, when it's introduced in the air system. It makes its way to the top and it starts creating these little vertical gouges in here when rust starts scrubbing back and forth in there and air bypasses this piston. And you can see how rough that piston looks. Now I'm gonna put the same piston and all the little components here back into this top plate and we're gonna put a brand new modulator on top where we can hear and make a reference to what this sounds like. It's worth noting too, if you're bringing this thing to a shop, if, you, if you've got transmission issues, make sure you're bringing it to the right shop. Um, I would be more than happy to fix your transmission for you if you brought it up here to us. And we're not hard to find. ETR Truck Center right here in McDonough, Georgia. All right, we're gonna flip it over. Now, we've got a brand new modulator right here in the box. Kind of off subject, but uh, about five minutes later after I made this video, I dropped that knife on the ground and broke that into like three different pieces. I can't believe that little case knife exploded like it did when I dropped it. Now listen closely here in just a second. This is the sound that most everybody's gonna hear coming out of the modulator on this thing. You're gonna hear air leaking around it, all that good stuff. Uh, I'm gonna show you by spraying some soap on this, you're gonna see some bubbles coming around it. This is what everybody thinks is the problem. So surely you hear that. I'm sure you hear that making all that racket. It's actually rain shifting. But man, that modulator sounds like it's real bad, don't it? That is a brand new modulator. All right, let's spray this thing with some soapy water and let's see what it looks like with some soap on it. Let me flip it a couple times too. Man, that thing's, it's, it's the modulator leaking. If your modulator's making the sound, I think we get the picture. You better, uh, you better get ready uh, to pull that lid on that transmission. So many bubbles. Look at all them bubbles. That is terrible. I'll make a little video in the future to show you how to test that top plate before you go pulling it out. But 98% of the time, it's, it's the top plate that's the problem. It's not that valve. But I'll give you a little hint. If the modulator's off and the range piston's not supposed to bypass air, this one way or the other shouldn't it hold pressure one way or the other for the house look at all those bubbles wow that is well i know how to make bubbles now and we're gonna put the bubble maker onto a good top all right so let's swap this stuff over Now we're gonna swap this brand new modulator and put it onto our rebuilt top plate that we have on the further side here. Um, that rebuilt top plate is obviously a good plate with a nice piston on the inside, nice piston surface on, on the inside of that plate. Um, here we go, let's see what happens now. 
Keep in mind, this was the same one that was spewing air out of it just a while ago. I feel like I say the word modulator quite a bit in this video. Just thinking to myself. I say it so many times that, I don't know, somebody might actually still think that this modulator is the problem. Damn it, I said it again. Throw it right here. All right, we got the bubble maker hooked up here, and it's oh man, I'm so sad. Oh, look at my fitting leaking. All right, let's spray the same modulator with soapy water and see what what it looks like here. Need to get a spray. All right, keep in mind that this is a good top plate with a nice clean lubricated piston surface on the inside. Absolutely free of rust well, and vertical gouges on the inside. It ain't looking good, guys. I think our bubble maker's broke. Hmm. Well, I guess that's that. I'm not saying that 100% of the time that this is the problem. That's not the case. Sometimes the modula modulator does go bad. Um, I've seen it several times, but a good 98% of the time, it's the top plate that's trashed. Uh, people neglect to drain their air system. They want to keep going and going and going, and they never drain anything, and and then you, you create this problem. Uh, and then people think that you can spray bubbles on a modulator, and that's where it leaks from. It does leak from the modulator. It leaks from the modulator when you shift, when you, when you shift from high to low. It also leaks from the modulator when it bypasses that O-ring internally. Once it bypasses, it, it has to go somewhere and it bleeds back through the modulator. All right, that's enough about all these modulators. I'm going hunting. Thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.